Alrighty, how do I feel about the NBA as we go into the All-Star break and beyond? That is the second half of the season. Well, let me tell you, I have I have basically just, you know, decreased my interest even more in the NBA. You know, after that James Harden video I did a while back, once Harden went to the Nets, I, I was like, you know... It's probably going to be Nets versus Lakers in the finals, isn't it? It's probably going to be that. It's probably going to be that matchup. It's probably going to go to seven games. But you never know. You never know. Um, don't take that as a true prediction. That is not a true prediction. That is just a thought. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the second half of the schedule got released, and you know it's. You know, once you get past March Madness and everything like that, everything is smooth sailing until, you know, what, May 16th, which is the last day of the regular season. I'm glad the last day of the regular season is on a Sunday, though. Um, but I don't know, you know, what's going to be impactful on that day. You never know. Because, remember, there's 20 teams that are slated to participate in the playoffs. Yeah, we have the 7 through 10 seeds on both sides of the conferences and everything like that. You know, 7 through 10, you know, those those four teams on each side of the conference doing playing games. But hey, they still technically technically, you know, fought for their chance to get to the NBA playoffs. And really, you know, I I'm just completely disinterested in the playoffs until the finals. You know, the East is looking kind of weak right now. Uh, Sam's one team, and it's of course the Nets. Of course it's the Nets. Why? Why are you not surprised? Maybe, maybe the Bucks. You know, maybe the 76ers. Maybe they could say something about that. I don't know right now. You know, as far as the West goes, looks like a bloodbath again. Yeah, Utah is you know leading things right now, but the Lakers again. They're the Lakers. They're right there. You know, LeBron is always right there. So. And of course, there's plenty of other teams like my Mavs or the Suns, you know. They're, they're right there. Right there fighting for a title. So, you know, it's going to get intense the last few months of the season. Um, but uh, honestly, I'll try my best to watch some NBA games in the second half of the season. But I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of disinterested until the finals anyway. And I'm not talking about conference finals, you know, not not the, not the second round, not the first round. You know, first round's kind of boring, second round's kind of meh. You know, really the weed out the, you know, the teams that aren't good until you get to the conference semifinals and stuff like that. Then you have to weed out two teams that technically aren't that, you know, great. And so, you know, you get to the finals and then boom. The two best teams, like right there. All you have to do is win four games. You know, each series you have to win 16 games to win the, the NBA championship. You know, so and for some teams that could be up to what 18 games now. So I don't know. I don't know how things are gonna work. You know, with the NBA expanding their playoff format the way they have, and that you know that. That stretch of May 18th to the 21st will be fun. It will be fun. I'll tell you that much. Um, probably will watch the playing games though. Um, if the Mavs, you know, you know, if the Mavs make it to the finals, then absolutely, you know, I'd I'd be happy about that. You know, but if somebody else makes it to the finals, we get a Nets versus Lakers finals or or something along the lines like that. You know, I'll I'll. Like, yeah, this is going to be a good final matchup. But that's pretty much how I feel right now. I'm feeling kind of disinterested. I'm ready for some other things to start up. You know, hint, hint, indoor football. I'm ready for that to start up. It's not going to start up for a little bit. But, yeah, that'll pretty much do it. Um, Y'all take care. See you guys tomorrow. FCS football, baby. Let's talk about it.